Welcome to our lesson on stratify sampling. So stratify sampling is when you sample an equal proportion of each group rather than an equal amount. We would use stratify sampling from this data because we have a disproportionate amount of A and D than we do in group C. So if we were to use quarter sampling, it would be biased against group C. So to calculate the number of girls that should be in each sample, we need to work out the proportion. And to do this, we are told we're going to collect a stratified sample of 40 girls. So this is 40 out of the total 126. So this fraction is our proportion. And we're working out this proportion of 38 girls in group A. So in group A, we're going to sample 12 people. In group B, we'll use the same proportion, which is 40 out of 126, of the number of people in group B, which is 30, and this is 10 people. For group C, we'll sample 6 people, and for group D, we would sample 13 people. Okay, let's try one more question. The table shows the number of students in each year group of a school. And we're going to collect a stratified sample of 120 students. Do you want to work out how many students should be sampled from each year group? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. We begin by working out our proportion and we have 120 students out of a total of 1000. And we can simplify this fraction to make 12 over 100, which is 0.12. So this is our proportion of each year group. So to work out the sample of year 7 students, we have a proportion 0.12 multiplied by the frequency of year 7, which is 350, which is 42 students. For year 8, 0.12 this time multiplied by 250, and this is 30 students. For year 9, we sample 12 students. For year 10, 24 students. And for year 11, 12 students. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.